Hello, Cypress family. My name is Joe Velderman, VP of Innovation. I've got an important message for you today. Many of you have probably noticed in the news that there's been an increase in some cyber criminal activity across the globe these last few months. No doubt influenced by some of the activities that we've been seeing uh, between Ukraine and Russia. Our own organization has noticed an increase in cyber threats over the last couple of months and our infrastructure team has been doing everything we can to mitigate those threats. I'm very grateful for Chris Stelbaum and Richard and Tiger, as well as our partners for doing everything we can to mitigate those threats as much as possible. Even more recently, you've probably noticed uh, personally that there's been some increased cyber criminal activities uh, in the news, uh, the likes of which include things like Equifax or Target, um, there's been some pretty significant data breaches with those organizations. We want to do everything we can as an organization to really improve our posture around cyber security. And one of the ways that we can do that most effectively is by implementing something called multi-factor authentication. Very soon, we're going to begin enforcing this for both email and Microsoft Teams as well as any users who connect to our organization via VPN or virtual private network. What this means is that in addition to typing in your username and password for these services, you'll also be required to put in a six digit code that will either come to you via text message or come to you via uh, something called the Microsoft Authenticator app. We're going to have some instructions on how to download and install and set up that app here in just a minute. But we're going to be requiring every user to put in uh, a code in addition to their username and password each time they log in to Microsoft Office uh, or Teams or uh, the VPN solution. I know that this is one more thing that's an inconvenience from a security perspective for everybody and we're definitely not doing it to slow anybody down or to increase the level of inconvenience that you experience we're really doing it so that we can do everything we can responsibly to keep our resident and staff information as secure as possible so please take a few moments and review the information presented in the PowerPoint presentation and the video on how to set up multi-factor authentication for your account. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Over the next few minutes, this video will walk each user through step-by-step -step instructions for setting up multi-factor authentication. Feel free to pause the video at any time so that you can follow along on your own device to set this up for your own account. We're turning on multi-factor authentication for all Microsoft 365 resources, including email, Teams, and any other Microsoft 365 resources beginning in July. As users log into their Microsoft account, they will be prompted to authenticate with a six-digit code in addition to the password. You will also notice that our organization has branded the Microsoft 365 login. This gives users confidence that they are in the right spot to be logging in for our organization. Always look for that Cypress Living logo whenever logging into any Microsoft 365 resources. Users will have an option to receive their six digit code one of two ways. The preferred method will be through the Microsoft Authenticator app. Since this app is a Microsoft product, there is a seamless integration with the Microsoft 365 suite, and there are some conveniences that users will experience if using the Authenticator app. As an alternative to the Authenticator app, users can choose to have the six-digit code texted to their personal mobile phone. Once you've downloaded and installed the Microsoft Authenticator app, please navigate to the URL aka.ms slash MFA setup to begin the multi-factor authentication setup. You will need to log in initially with your Cypress username and password. If you're prompted with a screen requiring more information, confirm your email address is correct and select next. 
Once in the MFA setup screen, you'll want to select how Microsoft should deliver the six-digit MFA code. If you're choosing to use the Microsoft Authenticator app, choose Mobile App. Next, choose whether you will receive a notification from the Authenticator app or open the app to generate a code. We recommend the Use Verification Code option. Finally, click the Setup button to proceed. For users who choose not to have the Authenticator app, you will need to enter your mobile phone number into the setup screen in order to have the six-digit code texted to you. Instead of choosing Mobile App, you will choose Authentication Phone. You'll need to enter your country and mobile phone number and then click Next. For those using the Authenticator app, you will be prompted to set up your Authenticator app to receive a six-digit code from Microsoft 365. Open the Authenticator app on your phone and choose Scan a QR code. Proceed to scan the QR code on your MFA setup screen and follow the prompts to set up your account. Once setup is finished, you will receive a test verification. Either an approve or deny pop-up will show on your phone, or you will receive a verification code. We realize that some users may wish to change their authentication method, and Microsoft has provided a way to do that. At any time, you can visit myaccount.microsoft.com and select the Update Info link on the Security Info tab. We recommend that users set up multiple MFA sign-in methods so that you can easily sign into your Microsoft account without getting locked out. You can add additional methods for receiving the six-digit code in the Security Info section. In addition to using the Microsoft Authenticator app, we urge users to also set up their phone to receive a text message as an alternate way of signing in using multi-factor authentication. Hello, this is Dee with your Information Technology Department. This tutorial is intended for team members that utilize Forta Client VPN connection to access Cypress Living, Cypress Co, and Cypress at Home networks while working remotely to improve your cybersecurity. To get started, we will open the hamburger menu and add a new connection. Give your connection an easy name to remember and enter the remote gateway. The remote gateway is VPN cypressliving.org. We do utilize a customized port, so you will need to check that box and add a three to the end. And the next step is to enable single sign-on for your VPN tunnel. And save. The next page will be prompting you to log in with your Microsoft credentials. Once you select the SAML login, you will see a pop-up box requesting your Cypress Microsoft login username and password. If you need assistance with these Microsoft credentials, please review the next slide in this presentation or reach out to our IT department. Once your Microsoft credentials have been entered and validated, you will be able to start your VPN connection. Thank you for watching. If you experience any issues with activating single sign-on for your VPN account, please open an IT ticket and a member of our team will reach out to you. Thank you and have a great day. As a reminder to our associates, our organization federates three different organizations within a single Microsoft 365 tenant. 
Depending on the organization that you work for, your login may look a little different. If you are a Cypress Cove employee, you will need to log in with your username followed by at cchpf.net. For Cypress at Home users, it will be username followed by at cypressathome.org. And for Cypress Living staff, it will be your username followed by at hpf.net. Thank you for following along on this interactive video to set up multi-factor authentication. Your efforts are helping our organization do everything it can to protect the sensitive information of our residents, clients, and staff. If at any time you need some assistance, our technology team will be more than happy to assist. Feel free to send an email to servicedesk at cypressliving.org to request assistance setting up multi-factor authentication.